Telltale Game of Thrones. Click to begin. Alright. We're going to go to play. And I am starting this right along with you guys. So, here we go. Ow. Shit, my eye. Alright. Begin episode one. Yep. Tyrion Lannister. You are so gangster. To adapt to the choices you make, the story is tailored by how you play. <laughs> For thousands of years, House Forrester have been loyal bannermen to House Stark. In the darkest reaches of the Wolf's Wood, they harvest the rare ironwood trees. Now the North has been ripped apart by war and rival houses, seek to claim Forrester Ironwood for themselves. And the fate of the House Forester hangs in the balance. All right, let's see what we can do. The trout, the trout, the trout in the tower. The wolves got the fish and they all ran away. The trout is lost all around the tower. The trout, another wall to pray. Two weddings, two weddings, brought on by the eddings. The dying they comes for me. Two weddings, two weddings, brought on by the eddings. It all is out for now. The great Jamie Lannister, Kingslayer, both breakers, brought to his knees by the men of the North. And set free by the women. You'd think he'd done it himself the way he tells it. Old Forrester's sword won't clean itself, you know. Huh. You got a bounty? Tell Make sure it's spotless this time. Old Forrester won't be happy with blood and brains all over it. Go on. It's only blood. <laughs> now that is a proper sword. I'll have one like seen. it myself someday. You will never have a sword like that. I say that as a friend. I mean, if we're being honest, you are just a squire. I will. You'll see. Of course, your lordship. After you take your rightful place on the Iron Throne. I had Andy, you know. <laughs> Hand him what? Capturing him. He was nowhere near the Kingslayer at the Whispering Wood. He was so drunk he barely made it out of his tent. Next, they'll tell us he caught Tyrion too. <laughs> Shh. Let him finish. Oh, he'll talk all night if you let him. You captured the Kingslayer. Aye. Well, I had a hand in it. Aye. And round his ankle as ten others took him down. <laughs> See? What did I tell you? I brought him to his knees. Lord Forrester. But not before he dragged you halfway right across the battlefield on your face. You're questioning <laughs> Norrin's honor. I'm questioning Norrin's story. This grows more far-fetched every time he tells it. Get your liege lord some wine. Go on. It's your job. Right. Thanks. You're welcome. Thank you, Garrett. I'll do it. Norrin's family has faithfully served House Forrester for centuries. His honor is beyond reproach, and House Tully is forever in his debt. They've never seen a field plowed so well as the day the Kingslayer dragged poor Norrin across the battlefield. <laughs> That's your cup. The night we celebrate. <laughs> the Rob Stark! The King in the North! The King, King, King in the North! Tomorrow, we march on Casterly Rock, and House Forrester has been given the greatest honor to lead the Young Wolf's army and ride as the vanguard! I don't know what God's favor. To Castle Rock! Aye! Death to the Lannisters! Aye! Winter is coming! Let's hope it waits till this bloody war's over. Got it. Yes, my lord? I need you to keep an eye out for Roderick. As his father, I could not be more proud of the man he's become. On a night like this, Men find false courage at the bottom of their cups. I'd rather he were here. Yes, my lord. 
There's also the question, what's to be done with you? It's been on my mind for a while now. Something must be done. What do you mean? You've served House Forrester well for several years now, but I can't expect you to squire forever. How shall I reward your loyalty? What can I offer you? Let me fight for you, my lord. You've more than proven your ability on the battlefield. No man would question that. There were those who had their doubts when your uncle put forth your name as my squire. But you've erased those doubts entirely. It would be an honor to see you riding by Roderick's side in the vanguard tomorrow. Not as a squire, but as the equal of any man who serves House Forrester. Word? It's well deserved, Garrett. Your hard work has paid off. Thank you, my lord. I promise. I won't let you down. That I don't doubt. But for now, keep this between us. We're celebrating tonight. I wouldn't want the other squires to feel discouraged. Yes, my lord. Now go, and find Roderick if you can. I will, my lord. Got to my ear. Thank you. Bloody hell. Squire! Fetch us more wine! Can you give me a hand? Come on. Can I get up to you? Yeah, no problem. I have been a squire longer than you. So? I outrank you. You should help me. <laughs> you dick. I'm gonna know that. Much <laughs> more wine. Scrub my armor. Clean my boots. Just my luck to end up with Norin while you serve the Lord. Let him fetch his own wine for once. He's a drunk, a liar, and an arrogant prick. You'd better watch your tongue, Bowen. It could be much worse. What the fuck do you know about it? Nothing is worse than Norin. See, that's why you're lucky. Low expectations. If I'd grown up covered in pig shit, shovel and slop, well, maybe I'd think saddling his horse was the greatest honor in the Seven Kingdoms. I suppose this beats pig farming. Oh, well, bacon? But not by much. Who doesn't love bacon? That's right. Ah, pig <laughs> farmers. <laughs> All I'm saying is, at this rate we'll never be more than this, which is nothing. The lowest of the low. For all I know, we could be squires for life. All in wine around a fucking wedding. What a waste of fucking time. Yeah, I'm oh, sick of listening to your wine. With that attitude, you'll never be more than this. Easy for you to say. Maybe if my uncle were Castle, then I'd feel different. Who my uncle is has nothing to do with it. How much further? Well, it's right over there. Take your time. You lot have drunk your share. Good thing, Lord Walders. In a generous mood. Fucking phrase. A nice night for a wedding. It's not often he finds a willing husband for one of his daughters. Don't expect me to carry it for you, Sir Garrett. What's wrong? Just gotten into you. You're acting rather odd. We need to get back. Now. They're fine. They can wait. No, you don't understand. We need to go. And take the fucking flagon already. What's wrong with him? Something the matter? Bowen, we have to go. You go if you're in such a rush. We have to warn the others. Good luck.
My lord. I'd never make it. They'll hunt us down like dogs. All the phrase says time to <gasps> <hold> <gasps> You have to go. I will do as you command, my lord. You have served me well. Do you remember that I know fool? I can next count on you. Ten minutes of his life. All right. <laughs> Tell your uncle. <laughs> Tell him the North Grove must never be lost. Tell no one but him. Do you understand? You must swear. Tell only your uncle Duncan. The future of the house may depend on it. I swear that I will, my lord. It's those foresters! Oh, your honor, you must do this for your house! Go! Kill those uh. fucking foresters! <laughs> we love to hold the fray! Scamper along. 
long now. Bacon. It's own pig. Oh. Blood. blood. Fresh. Enjoy your hepsi. That's father's car. Alright. Lord Bolton better give us fucking titles for this. Back to maybe coming. Kill him. He still have his bacon. <laughs> no! Fucking dicks. Move along, boy. There's nothing for you here. Father, I said move on. Unless you want to get fed to the fucking pigs. Yeah. I'm going to kill you. Yeah. <laughs> Go, Is baby. that so? You can try if you like. And then we'll feed you to the pigs. Get off my land. This is Bolton land now, boy. Lord Bolton is the new warden of the north. I reckon he'd like a proper lordly sword like that. <laughs> No. <laughs> I'll have that sword, boy. Yeah, fuck you. Fuck you. Yeah. Get some. Finish this fucking pig farmer. Pathetic. Yeah. <laughs> you really are a pig farmer, aren't you? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> all right. All right. There we go. Uh, 
mercy. No. Please. I beg of you. I, I have a family. They'll never survive without me. Too bad. I have no quarrel with you. I, I was only following orders. No, please. Yeah. Lord Whitefield will see you hang for this. Son. That much I promise. <sighs> anyway. Father? I don't care, dude. I'm going my dad. Garrett! You won't die. You survived. Your, your sister. Oh, she hid. I tried to stop them. I'll kill the men who did this. Alright. Yes, yes. Kill men who did this. Alright. Yeah, how's that leg doing? It's Garrett! Get the Castellan! Tell him his nephew survived! Carrot! I was too late. They were already dead. Bring the maester! Meet us in the Great Hall! Quickly! <laughs> Alright. Dinner time. Two White Hill soldiers and a Bolton. They killed my family. And for what? My sister, she. She was only eight years old. This never would have happened with the Starks in power. It's unimaginable. Right? Unacceptable. You have my condolences. Thank you, Mister. Blade cut deep. But I mind. should be able to save your leg. Oh, that's good. Your justice was swift. Some will call it vengeance. No doubt the White Hills will claim it was murder. It was your family. I can't say I would have done any different than you. They attacked me. I had no choice but to defend myself. Of course. Right. And we can't let the White Hills just walk all over that's us. That's what we'll put on paper. These maggots ought to help prevent infection. What? Hold the wound open for me, would you? Maggots? Oh, no. <sighs> oh, oh, no. Oh. Oh. These are dark days, I fear. To lose the lord of the house and the eldest son through such a despicable act of treachery and betrayal. Greater houses than ours have fallen in times such as this. The late Lord Forrester was a good man. And poor Roderick. A serious man, but he would have made a good lord. Well, what do we do now? The future of Does this house is in Lord Ethan's thing? hands now. Although he's young, around, and gonna... altogether unprepared to lead. Six inch gash down it with maggots crawling around. Right. Uh, this might hurt a bit. Oh, maybe he's not standing. I thought he was. Hold this for me, will you? I understand from your uncle that Lord Forrester saved your life. He did. Rather odd, though, that he chose to save you, his squire, and not his son, Roderick. Uh... Not that Roderick couldn't handle himself. He was as good with a sword as any man I've seen. It's unfortunate the Citadel doesn't train maesters in the art of warcraft. He gave me a message to deliver. A message? About what? Avoid that subject. What did he tell you? Get my uncle. I was told only to tell him. Your uncle? I see. Must be rather important then. Lady Forrester will be here any moment now. I'd like you to walk for me first, to see if you can put any weight on my leg. Uh. Good as new. Go on. Don't stop now. 
It's better to let the blood circulate. Let's see. Let's go look at the Lord's chairs. I like looking at chairs. Wow, that is a majestic chair. <laughs> All right, let's go look at a window. The Ironwood Grove. Yes. All right. What else we got around here? Oh, a shield. Let's look at the shield. An Ironwood shield. Hmm. The strongest wood in the known world. You seem to be favoring it. Always sad to see a warrior lose a leg. I, I'm fine, Mr. Ottengren. Look, I'll show you. Look at the bucket. Nice. Hmm? I may be mistaken. You do seem able to put weight on it. That's, that's nice. Now can we keep moving along here? Can I go up these stairs? Keep moving. I need to see you walk. Come on. Uh, no. You see there? You're limping again. I'm fine. Really. Cute little creatures, aren't they? Ugh, I guess. <laughs> this might help. I'm just gonna take that for myself. Is it? Oh, I'm just gonna take these two. There we go. Hey, right, let's talk to this dude. Did your leg feel weak? No. I just wanted to ask you. Why do the White Hills hate the foresters? I think it's safe to say the feeling is mutual. There's been enmity between the two houses for as long as anyone can remember. I don't doubt someone killed someone, which led to more killings of someone's, and then, well, here we are. All right. Who is the new lord of House Forrester? Why, Ethan, of course. All right. At the Citadel, I swore an oath to serve whichever noble house I was assigned. Advising the late Lord Forrester was an honor. Advising Ethan, his third-born son, is challenging. There's still so much he has to learn, yet the very fate and future of this house rests in his hands. Which is rather frightening when you think about it. What will happen to me now? Excellent question. <laughs> hmm. Under normal circumstances, you could join Sir Roiland and his men. Although, given the circumstances of your... circumstances, it becomes a bit tricky, doesn't it? I suppose it will be for Lord Ethan to decide. Well, Lord Forrester promoted me. At the Twins, I... I'm no longer a squire, if that matters. It might, I suppose. But I'll defer to Lord Ethan on this. Can I see Ethan? Is he here? He is. But I'm afraid he's indisposed at the moment. He prefers not to be disturbed while practicing his loot. Can I go now? I believe your leg will be fine. Any time will tell, but... 
Lady Forrester. Wenches. Oh. Welcome home, Garrett. We're all relieved to know you survived. Thank you, my lady. Talia asked to see you. Garrett, I heard what happened. Is it true? Your family... I'm so sorry. Mato. Off to bed now. Hurry on. Uh, both of us? Uh, oh, yeah. Just, just you. Garrett was just telling me okay. how valiantly yes. Lord Forrester fought to the end, even when all was lost. I'm sure Lady Forrester would like to know. He was a hero, my lady. The bravest man on the battlefield by far. Yet he was unable to save his own son. You were with Roderick, no? I'm sure it was chaos and confusion. But if you can remember anything, I'm sure Lady Forrester would like to know. There we go. He... he fought valiantly, my lady. Of course he did. He was House <laughs> Forrester's best. We're stick with. This has been so incredibly difficult for us, especially the children. But I was told. I was told you were the last to see my husband alive. Yes, my lady. I know it may be difficult to remember, but if I may ask, was there anything he said? Any last words before he passed? If you can remember. It would mean so much to the family. He said he loved you. That's very kind of you to say. <laughs> you have the forest to sort. Oh. <laughs> Ethan should have it, now that he is Lord. Lord Forrester asked me to return it to the house. He said this is where it belongs. With his family. Thank you, Garrett. Of course, my lady. It demands a response. It's too dangerous, especially now. Now is the time to prove our strength. I'll be sure it's given to Ethan. Duncan, this was our land. They were our people. Your family. I share your outrage, Sir Royland. I do. But now is not the time to provoke the White Hills. Not with Ramsay Snow coming to see us bend the knee. The hell with Ramsay Snow, the bastard. Garrett, you understand what this means. You killed a Bolton, and Ramsay Snow will want his retribution. We're the ones that should be demanding retribution. This happened on Forrester land. They killed my family. And they'll pay for what they've done. That much, I promise. But now is not the time for vengeance. It's not oh, now. When? Exactly. We have to be smart. Ramsay Snow will be here within the week. And what would you have us do? Nothing. I would have us use our heads while they're still attached to our shoulders. <laughs> Garrett has lost as much as anyone else uh, within these walls. It's far Maybe you can talk things. some sense into your uncle. Garrett suffered enough already. You asked too much of the boy. He deserves to be heard. My uncle's right. We need to be smart. Smart. Eddard Stark was smart. And look where that got him. So, what's to be done? Hmm. <sighs> Ultimately, it will be for Lord Ethan to decide. He's just a boy who can barely hold a sword. A he knows nothing of how to lead men. He is the lord of this house, and he needs our help. It's bad enough the Boltons would have us bend the knee and swear fealty. But now, this. But I'll accuse you of murder, and us of protecting you. The boy was just defending himself. I'm not faulting him for what he did. I've done nothing wrong. Not in their eyes. It's just the excuse Ramsay Snow would need to put us to the torch and kill us all. I'd like to see them try. I'm afraid it's a risk we cannot take. Which is why you cannot stay. Cannot stay? Duncan! Oh. But, but where would I go? The one place beyond the reach of even House oh. Bolton. You're sending him to the war? Oh. The boy's right. done nothing wrong! Not in the eyes of the Boltons. I'm afraid it's the only solution. I'll do what's All best right. for the house. Pack a lunch. So I'll go. Alright. I'm not afraid. I know it doesn't seem fair, but it is what's best. I'm, am I supposed to tell him something? I don't remember what it was, but... That settles it then. We'll see it then. Set up set up, set up. You can have my horse, and I'll see you have plenty of food. But we haven't much time. 
The White Hills will come looking for you. Alright. Um... Word up to me. I'd gladly drive a sword through I Lord think, uh... White Hills' heart if given a chance. I will not. And God's willing, someday I will. But now, we'll I have House Forrester to consider first. Yeah, what are we at? We're at Lord Forrester minutes. would be proud that you're putting the interests of the house ahead of your own. Many of Lord Forrester's best men have volunteered for the war. His own great uncle was a ranger with the Night's Watch. I'll do what's best. Which often isn't what's easiest, but necessary nonetheless. I've been waiting for the right moment to tell you. What? What is it? Lord Forrester asked me to give you a message. He said, the North Grove can never be lost. All right. Sorry, you caught me by surprise. It's not often discussed, if ever. What is the North Grove? Most don't even know it exists. They think it's just a myth made up by wildlings and fools, and it's better kept that way. You haven't told anyone else, have you? This is important, Garrett. Of course not. I told no one. Well done. Lord Forrester was right to put his trust in you. From this day forward, this will be our secret. But soon, I may need your help. But I can't say anything more just yet. Just know the North Grove may very well be vital to the future of this house. But don't breathe a word of it to anyone at the wall. Become a ranger if you can. It will help. All right. Ranger, got it. Uh. <sighs> Iron from ice. Iron from ice. Remember, you represent House Forrester. Your actions at the wall will reflect the honor and dignity of the house. I'll serve with honor. I know you will. Where's all this food he promised? Garrett, wait! He's got like a sleeping bag and that's about it. And now the necklace. Be safe. So there we go. Uh, there's the first part done, and I will bring you more later. And I'm not even looking at the game right now. I'm looking over there at the screen. All right, <laughs> all right, guys. Take it easy. See you next time.